Hi students, welcome again to Lectures Club. Although in some previous lectures we focused on the working of JFAT and MOSFET, but today in this lecture primarily we will focus on the difference between JFAT and MOSFET. So let's start our today's lecture. Before directly jumping to understand the difference between JFET and MOSFET, first of all, let me remind you that both transistors, I mean JFET and MOSFET, both are from the family of field effect transistors. JFET has two categories, N-channel JFET and P-channel JFET. Similarly, MOSFET has two categories, E-MOSFET and D-MOSFET. And these two categories, Enhancement MOSFET and Depletion MOSFET, they are further divided into two types, N-channel and P-channel E-MOSFET, similarly N-channel and P-channel D-MOSFET. So let's we uh, start to understand the difference in structures. I mean how the structure of GFET is different from the structure of MOSFET. We have taken the examples of N-channel GFET as well as N-channel MOSFET. Here you can observe in case of N-channel GFET, the body is made of N-type semiconductor material but in case of MOSFET body is made of P-type semiconductor material which is also known as P-type substrate. Both of these devices have three terminals. Uh, the JFET has drain, gate and source. Similarly, the MOSFET has three terminals, drain, gate and the source. This body, body terminal is usually connected to the source in uh, inside the body of the uh, MOSFET. This is not very important terminal. These three terminals are important. We control the working using these three terminals. Another thing uh, you can observe in JFET is that in case of uh, angel GFET, we do doping of two p-type materials inside the body of n-type material and we connect these two p regions with each other with a common terminal which is known as gate. This gate is common terminal to these both of p regions and this gate terminal is not insulated or isolated from the body of GFET. It means that if we give positive terminal of the battery at the gate and negative terminal at the drain or the source, this depletion region or this uh, potential barrier will be forward biased and which is undesirable. We don't do this. In fact, we use this depletion region or this PN junction in the reverse bias mode to control the flow of current between the drain and the source through this channel. I mean, you can see the moving cursor. This is the channel from where the current will flow from the drain to the source. In case of MOSFET, we do doping of n-type materials. Uh, for n-channel MOSFET, we do doping of n-type materials to make two terminals, drain and the source. And the gate is not connected directly to the body. In fact, an insulating layer of silicon dioxide is used, which separates the body from the gate. This is the major difference between the MOSFET and GFET. I mean, between the structures of MOSFET and as well as the GFET, gate is the major difference. Here the gate is not insulated or isolated, but here the gate is isolated from the body. It has some advantages and disadvantages. Similarly, this gate has some advantages and disadvantages. The second difference is GFAT works only in depletion mode, whereas MOSFET works in enhancement mode as well as depletion mode. Let me explain you this point. First, we take the example of GFET. If we apply some uh, zero volt, I mean if we apply zero volt at the gate and some potential difference between the drain and the source, still current will flow between the drain and the source because channel is already there we are not creating any channel and this is the maximum current flowing between the drain and the source if we further apply some potential at the gate this channel will not increase in fact this channel between these two terminals will further decrease you can watch my full lecture on uh, GFAT working uh, where i briefly explained this point how we in, uh, how we change the width of the channel by changing the potential difference between the gate and the drain. So we are we cannot further enhance the channel. When we apply zero volt at the gate and some potential difference between the drain and the source, the maximum 
width of the channel is under this condition. So we cannot further enhance the channel. In fact, the, if we give some potential difference between the uh, gate and the drain, definitely, or between the gate and the source, definitely this channel will decrease, not increase. So GFAT only works in depletion mode, not in enhancement mode. So in case of MOSFET, first we take the example of DMOSFET. Just like GFET, the channel is already built during the manufacturing process. In case of definition mode weight, the channel between the drain and the source is already built during the manufacturing process. So if we apply zero volt at the gate, still electrons will flow between the drain and the source because the channel is already there. Let's say this is an example of N-channel JFET. So N-channel MOSFET, depletion MOSFET. So when we apply some negative voltage at the gate, what will happen? These negative charges will repel the electrons between the drain and the source. So these electrons which are present between the drain and the source, they will be repelled from the gate and will enter towards the or will enter into the body of the MOSFET. So this area will be depleted from electrons and the width of the channel will decrease. So when we apply some positive voltage at the gate of the depletion MOSFET, so what will happen? This positive charge, I mean if we apply a positive terminal at the gate, this positive terminal will attract more electrons from the body of the MOSFET. So what will happen? This channel will enhance. So this MOSFET is working in depletion mode as well as in enhancement mode because more and more electrons are coming towards the gate and this channel between the drain and the source will be enhanced. Now take the example of enhancement MOSFET. In, in enhancement MOSFET, there is no physical channel between the drain and the source until we apply some voltage at the gate. Let's say this is an N-channel MOSFET. When we apply some positive terminal at the gate, what will happen? It will attract more and more electrons towards the gate. So what will happen? First of all, there was no channel between the drain and the source. Now the channel is being created and we have enhanced the process or we have enhanced the flow of currents or we have enhanced the flow of electrons by applying some potential difference at the uh, gate. So when more and more electrons are coming between the drain and the source, so current will start flowing uh, between the drain and the source. So here you can see that the GFET only works in depletion mode where the, when we apply some zero volt at the gate, the channel is already there, current will flow between the drain and the source. We cannot further increase the width of the channel. Yeah, when we apply some voltage at the gate, this width will decrease. So only GFET works in depletion mode, whereas MOSFET works in enhancement mode as well as in depletion mode. The third difference is MOSFET has very high input impedance. Usually the MOSFET has input impedance at the gate of the order of 10 raised to the power 14 ohm, whereas gate has input impedance of the order of 10 raised to the power 9 ohm. How MOSFET able to achieve such a high impedance? This is very important because of this high input impedance. No current will flow between the gate and the channel or from the body towards the gate. Uh, this, this high impedance is achieved because of this insulating layer. This insulating layer of silicon dioxide. This layer do not allow the flow of electrons between the gate and the body. So uh, because of this insulation layer, MOSFET able to draw less current as compared to the JFET because the gate is not isolated or insulated from the body. Fourth difference is JFET is less susceptible to damage. Let me explain you this point. If we increase the voltage at the gate, this depletion region between the P-type material and the N-type material, this depletion region will cause on increasing. How this happens? I explained you this point during the working of JFET. If you didn't watch, watch my lecture on JFET, I recommend you kindly watch my lecture on JFET to understand this point. Anyways, if we increase the gate to source voltage, definitely this depletion region will increase. So there are less chances that electron will break this very high depletion region and move towards the gate because this depletion region have very high resistance. But in case of MOSFET, if we start increasing the voltage at the gate, more and more electrons will start gathering near the gate 
and there are high chances that these electrons will break this insulating layer. Let me explain you this point. Let's say uh, we apply positive terminal at the gate. I mean we apply positive charges at the gate of the MOSFET. This is a 3D view of the MOSFET. This is oxide layer, this is gate, source and the drain. So let's say we apply positive terminal at the gate of the body. What will happen? These positive charges will start repelling the positive charges near the gate and will start attracting the electrons from the body of the MOSFET. So a division layer will be created. I mean these positive charges have repelled the positive charges which were present here between the drain and the source and near the gate these positive charges will be repelled by these positive charges and more electrons are coming from the body of the MOSFET okay and if we start increasing this positive charge what will happen the depletion region will increase definitely more and more positive charges are moving away from uh, the gate and more and more electrons are coming towards the body of the gate I mean towards near the surface of the gate so when more and more electrons are coming towards the gate they are capturing the space of the holes or positive charges so a channel is being created between the drain and the source current starts flowing between the drain and the source but also these positive charges have also started attracting these electrons towards them if you consider this is uh, so a condition of parallel plate capacitor if you consider uh, a gate one plate oxide layer is an insulator and depletion region is, region is another plate so this is the situation of a parallel plate capacitor in a parallel plate capacitor the charges actually attracting each other there is a uh, there is electrostatic force between these two charges positive and the negative charges so more and more positive charges are creating and more and more electrons are coming near the gate this has become a situation of a uh, of a parallel plate capacitor and these positive charges and these electrons are attracting each other although these electrons are moving from the drain and the source but there is a force of attraction between the positive charges and the electrons here xt represents the length of the depletion region because depletion is another form of plate esi is the epsilon of silicon because this material is made of silicon so this is shown the permittivity of silicon and c is the capacitance per unit area okay anyways if these electrons start attracting these positive charges or these positive charges start attracting these electrons so there are high chances these electrons will break from the oxide layer or these electrons will, will be able to break this oxide layer and start entering into the gate so that is why there is a positive aspect that when we apply the positive terminal of the gate a channel is being created but as well as the disadvantage is that these positive charges start attracting these electrons towards them so if at high voltage there is a high electrostatic force between the positive and the negative charges and electrons can break the silicon layer and will enter into the gate this is the major uh, one of the major disadvantages of the mosfet as compared to the jfet i hope uh, you like the video kindly subscribe my channel uh, see you in the next lecture stay blessed bye bye